All right, one thing that we talk about driving the actual cutting attachment. Now at Steel, uh, we're very proud of the fact that we not only produce our own engines, but we produce our own guide bars and saw chain as well. So when you buy a piece of steel equipment, it is matched to the cutting job. So in order to spin the chain, first thing we'll talk about is this is known as a sprocket. And it's the centerpiece here uh, that's got the teeth on it and our saw chain will match up to that. So you can see how I can rotate that. And underneath, you will see a centrifugal clutch. It is a three shoe, a full 360 degrees. So once this engine starts and it idles, in other words, without me activating the trigger, this unit will run at around 2,800 RPMs. Once I grab the throttle, and start to accelerate the engine at around 4,000 to 4,500 RPMs, revolutions per minute, the spring-loaded clutch shoes will, centrifugal force will force them outward. And they will then engage into the sprocket and they will start spinning the saw chain. When I let off the trigger and I come back to idle, at a lower RPM, the spring tension is so great that it holds the shoes in. So at idle, my chain does not rotate. Okay, so that's how our clutch system works. Okay.